Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. In today's video, we'll be working here on a Ford Edge, guys, and we'll show you if you have a Ford Edge, guys, that does not start, does not crank, and you're trying to find the relay for your engine starter, we'll explain where it's located. Also, guys, we have a fuse for the engine starter, and we made a video on that as well, guys. Uh, but if your car does not crank, does not start, we have even a special video that explains the top reasons for that and what to look for and what to check. But I always start with checking the relay and checking the engine starter fuse as well. So in today's video, we'll show you where the engine starter relay is located. Quick introduction, guys. Every single car we get at the shop, including guys, okay, this generation Ford Edge, we're guys making at least 200 videos. Why guys? Because our mission here at the shop is to save you as much money as we can. So please guys, subscribe to the channel, like the video, hopefully you will find the information helpful. If you guys need to buy replacement parts, tools, relays, fuses, anything like that, and you want to save even more money, check out the link in the description of the video below. It's there guys for your convenience. I will go ahead, open now. Okay, I will open the hood and I will show you where you can expect, okay, to find the relay for the engine starter. This guy is right here, it's a 2019, uh, 2009, excuse me, Ford Edge uh, that we'll be working on. And if you have the key, you turn the car, nothing happens, it doesn't crank, check this uh, relay, guys. So, when you open, guys, the hood, you have a main fuse box right here. So, how you guys uh, open that fuse box right here, you push in, you pull up, it comes up like that, and I can even remove the cover, guys. Now. You can see on the back side of the fuse box right here, we have the, okay, the fuse numbers and relay numbers printed, which makes it super convenient, guys. Okay, everything is super nice, organized, but what is inconvenient is that you do not have the description of each fuse and relay here. So if you don't have your manual, you are, guys, out of luck. So we will show you guys where it's located, that engine starter relay. If you need to buy a new one, we'll have the link in the description of the video below for your convenience. So let me show you now. The relay that we're looking at, it's relay number 42. Okay, this relay right here, number 42, guys. So checking the fuse box, okay, it will be this rel relay here. And I just grab it with my hands, it faces forward, okay, the lettering, and pull it out. We have the part numbers, guys, okay, part numbers and... Uh, uh, the, the link in the description of the video below so if you need to buy one you can see guys where you can find one so this is it guys this is the relay if you want to see how to test the relay we have a video on the channel that explains how to do that super simple video and you will know if your relay is working for sure or not install it guys the same way the same position you removed it okay and push it all the way in after that okay it's super important to go ahead and install your cover do not leave it open, simply guys, because if you leave the fuse cover open, what will happen? You will end up with all that dust, dirt, humidity guys, moisture inside, and you may end up needing a new fuse box. So hopefully the video will be helpful to any of you trying to do that guys. Thank you for watching, please subscribe to the channel for more videos and see you guys next time.